Welcome to Interest Agent Training. Every Monday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Hope you guys have an awesome start to your week. Hope you're having a big week and hope you're prepared to have an awesome freaking week. I'm going to talk to you today about how to make $20,000 a month. Because we talk a lot about final expense. We talk a lot about Medicare. We even talk about like call-ins for PNC through Google. And we talk about a lot of different products. And you know, we've talked about it. We have, we've had interviews with employee benefits people. We've had you know a lot of different product types because there's so many different ways to make money in the insurance industry. Today I want to talk about how to make twenty thousand dollars a month as a life insurance agent. And I'm not, I'm not talking about final expense. And so I'm talking about actually selling term life insurance. You can see me okay over here, right, Dylan? Yeah. Term life insurance. Something that's popular, something that can be sold in person over the phone. I've sold tens of thousands of dollars of this per month over the phone and in person, both before and you can too. So normally what happens is I'm, I spend more time breaking down numbers. Today I'm gonna talk about like the marketing behind it, the sales behind it, if it's in person. I mean a lot of people buy, there's multiple different ways to sell term life insurance, okay? So there's warm market, there's buying internet leads, which is super common if you're like, you know, captive agent somewhere. Um, warm market always ends up being term life insurance. There's also other ideas, which would be like, uh, you know, they're, they're your own um, your own SEO, your own Google AdWords, your own YouTube ads, and your own Facebook ads. I mean, there's a lot of, there, there's probably even other ways to do it as well. You know, I'm for people, for people do it from email lists. I've heard a lot of different ways to make that type of money selling term life insurance. So one of the ways that we've been doing it and that we've been helping other people do it is warm market, always a good idea. Buying internet leads from internet vendor, typically not as good of an idea. Um, Long-term SEO is good, but it's kind of like a, it takes a lot of time, so it's never like, the best option right off the bat, um, especially for an agent that's not currently making that. Normally it's agents that are already making that that are buying reinvesting, okay? Uh, Google AdWords can be, can be. Um, I would even, you know what, I'm gonna even leave SEO. I'm gonna just say that it's like a smaller check mark because it just takes time, okay? So Google AdWords, you know, it's, that's, that's a good one, but but it's, it's good, but it's, but it's uh, both, this one's takes a long time. This one is competitive because you're gonna be competing against select queue and everybody else out there. Um, Facebook ads is, is, is good. You're just going to be generating, um, you're going to be t speaking to typically like a lower income demographic a lot of times are the ones that are responding to these ads. I've seen some ads out there where you can target like someone that's healthy running, you know, um, type of ads so you can get a little better audience. But one of the ways we've been doing it a lot lately is actually through YouTube ads. Uh, I'm, we're helping several agents right now generate term life insurance leads, really any type of leads, running a, a complete ad funnel from YouTube ad to where they actually see the whole commercial, they click on the next steps, they go to a landing page, they see the video, they see ad copy, they see um, a lead form, they see some frequently asked questions, they see some features and benefits, some more information, oh, and, and, and then another call to action to fill out the form, okay? And so that's something that we've been doing a lot of, and right now, uh, we're, we're averaging about, we're closing about one out of every three to four of these leads um, at this point. Uh, I would probably say three to five just to be conservative because not everybody's going to start off as good as we have. Something I've tested, something we've tested for other people, something we've had companies test. And so if you kind of break that down the numbers of term life insurance, if you're looking at 20K, which we're talking about today, most of the time, an average term policy, because you're going to average about 80 bucks a month, okay, which is about a thousand bucks of premium per policy, all right. Because what happens is, yeah, you get, yeah, you get the $25 term policies or the $12 term policies or the $47 term policies or the $62 term policies, but you'll get a lot of 190, 250. I've sold $800 a month term policies, so it kind of like it brings up the average and sometimes even a hundred even eighty dollars is still low I'm trying to be conservative but in this case if you're if you're just looking at premium then you need 20 policies per month okay if you're looking at commission and you're on like a 50 percent commission or something like that then you may need like 40 policies a month okay but knowing the big the biggest the biggest 
factors to actually producing at this kind of level and doing this immediately, it comes down to a few different things, okay? It comes down to a few different factors. The first factor is, okay, you need to break down the numbers of this deal. What does that look like for you in your specific situation? What is the next steps from a prospecting standpoint? How are you gonna consistently get to talk to enough people to make that a reality? Because you have to sell 20 policies a month, you have to sell one a day, you have to sell five a week, but you may need 20 lead, 25 leads a month. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a week to make that a reality, to hit your numbers. May need more, right? If you're a new agent, you're not as good, you're not able to convert as well, and it's not all warm market, right? Or if warm market's a part of that and you're adding to that, that's good, okay? So that's the second step is prospecting. And then the third step is gonna be, what is your sales strategy, okay? Is it, hey, I'm gonna set appointments, I'm gonna get leads, I'm gonna set appointments, and I'm gonna go to their house, and I'm targeting people with these ads that are within 100 miles of my city, or maybe it's the whole state, maybe you're selling over the phone, maybe it's the whole country, okay? So that's where you get to figure out, okay, what is your sales strategy? And then I always wanna think, well, well, what are some factors that could keep me from making this happen and, become, and actually be a reality? I mean, I, I'm following a guy in, in one, of the, one of the groups right now that's doing, he, he's planning on, I think, uh, Danny, he's planning on doing 250K in 100 days. Like, that's freaking epic, right? That's awesome. That shows that you can put up seven, 800, 900, a million bucks a year on your own if you have, if you break down the numbers, you understand it. You have enough leads per week, and normally this is on the low end. And then you've got a sell strategy for making that a reality. You've got a follow-up system. You're hitting them hard. You're not giving up on them. And so this can vary, but I really believe anybody can make any amount of money in this business for any different product line. And so I want to talk today about life insurance, how to do it through life insurance, and what that looks like if you're selling term life insurance, because it's super common. You hear term life insurance commercials all the time on ESPN radio, on TV, YouTube commercials. I'm seeing this company called Ladder constantly on YouTube now. For every freaking video I watch, they're showing a, a life insurance ad, especially term life. And so that, that's kind of the world we live in. But it's, you know, it's something that Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman, they recommend. And it's something that uh, is, frankly, it, it's the natural, I mean, it's a natural way to sell insurance. It's easy. It's, it's for, it's, it's, it's warm market related, you know, and I'm not, I'm not against term life insurance by any means. Any thoughts or questions, Dylan, um, on uh, YouTube or Facebook at all? Um, yeah. yeah, Eric, Eric McRae. McRae on What's up, Eric? Facebook. He, he just asked, how, how do I get licensed? licensed? How do I get licensed? Dude, that's a good question, man. We need to get you licensed. Uh, the first step would be, we have a uh, Duker. Make sure you message him. Uh, message our page, buddy, and we'll get you our uh, pre-licensing course that we have a discount on with Excel Testing Solutions. First way to, to get licensed is to uh, set up your exam with your local insurance department for whatever product line you're wanting to get licensed with. Uh, once you set up the test, then follow a study materials for a couple weeks. Uh, study well, follow a study, st study path, and then go take that test and then join a company or a product and, and start selling, man. So hope that helps. I know that's super generic, but we use Excel testing solutions. We love them. We got a discount with them. I think we're like 50% with them some off or something like that. So. Um, yeah, a couple more. You're mic'd up too. I like it. This is Cody, do you tend to stay away from fully underwritten terms? Huh. It's kind of a, this is always like an internal struggle with me. Um, I'm not very patient. Naturally, fully underwritten term takes a little more time. Now, that doesn't mean that's bad. It's, it's gonna be the best for the consumer, typically price-wise and everything else. I'm not saying I'm against it. I am typically prefer like simplified issue or a carrier that can maybe do some type of like accelerated underwriting and, and get, the, get the policy issued quicker without a medical exam, without a phone interview or without a, you know, medical records, you know? So it's, it's it, for this, focus on selling term life insurance, you're going to be, typically, you're going to be selling, unless it's mortgage protection, then you're typically going to be selling term life insurance with a pyramid, and it is fully underwritten. So, much as I don't love it, there ain't a ton of options out there, so. 
they're coming out with some new carriers that are like new products. Some carriers are that, that are trying to like get away from that or speed up the process because they see agents going away from it. But it, it's 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 inevitable. You know, it's it's still the best for the consumer. Good question. Sarah Sanchez on YouTube says, "This is my goal: 20k a month. I do mortgage protection, so term with living benefits and IUO." Yep, perfect, excellent. I love it. Sarah, Sarah's an awesome. She's awesome. I love her. She's uh, she's in our Success Society coaching program. We meet every Monday, private group call every Monday at four o'clock Central, about an hour and forty six minutes from now. She'll be on it. If you don't know anything about Success Society, go to CodyAskins.com and we'll get you in it. Uh, it, it's as little as one ninety nine a month, all the way up to nine ninety nine a month. It's a twelve month coaching program. It, it's it's my way of giving back to you and sprinting to success together. I love Success Society. I'm all about. It. We've got T-shirts for it. We've got little pins, and I mean, I I love Success Society. So, so when people fail in this business, Success Society is trying to eliminate that from happening. So, thank you, Sarah. Omar wondered, Cody, how do you keep with prospects and clients, do you do a pen and paper tracking system or all digital CRM? Um, actually tracking, you think he's meaning like like uh, clients, like apps and policies and clients and all that? I mean, I'll answer it in multiple different ways. If I'm tracking like a client list, then I'll typically use like a CRM. If I'm tracking pending or something like that, I may use like a Google Sheet, you know? If I'm tracking, um, leads, then I'll probably use a combination. So, good question, buddy. Hope that helps. Any others? Uh, Matthew Schaefer, Schaefer just What's said, up, Matt? so glad you're covering term life. No doubt, bro. Dude, I, you know what? I love selling term life. I've sold a t I don't talk about it a ton, but I've sold a lot of term life over the years. Um, I've sold as many as 20, 20 term life policies by myself. Um, in one week, you know, I'm talking about like I, I've, I, I'm a 20k a week producer, probably more, if I'm selling term life all the time. That's just the case. Plus, I enjoy it. It's easy. It's simple. It's good for the consumer. I don't love paramedics and fully underwritten, but it's just part of the game, you know. Any other thoughts? That's it for now. All right. Thanks for watching today's agent training. Go make 20k a month. We want to help you. We want to see you succeed. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. If you never subscribed, do it right now. Have a great week. Appreciate you guys.